Speaking of the blob, um, last time we were talking about Trump's um, stated desire to get out of Afghanistan before the end of the year last year. Shockingly, it did not happen. Um, and I was, I was skeptical at the time. We were both hopeful. But why didn't Trump succeed at that? I think that he, I think the military obstructed him from doing it. I mean, that would be my gut. I don't have a lot of inside information, but if you remember when he lost the election and then he started firing people in the Pentagon, yeah, I do. <laughs> I think that I was I was hopeful at that time. Yeah, I mean, it was sort of like, wow, this is a real shakeup. I think that he he knew the writing was on the wall. He wasn't going to get exactly what he wanted. Um, but he was going to make sure he got at least down to the 2,500 that he'd sort of publicly promised. Um, but I think that had something to do with it. I think that he was really pissed off about the way that they had obstructed his policies um, and that in speaking out against him in, in the media. I think that, you know, it, it was classic Trump. He was just sort of like, it's all payback. I don't think that he was positioning anybody for some coup like anybody thought. Um, and I don't think he could have gotten everybody out. I think logistically, I've heard some really good arguments that we could have probably got everybody out of there in a very short time frame. And that's from people who are actually in the military and know what they're talking about, like not like me. Um, but I think I think the brass uh, found a way to sort of just put the, the, the stop sign. Drag their feet. Drag their feet long, just long enough. Yeah. And what's you know what's sad about it all is that now we have this afghanistan study group um in which um eli clifton who's at the quincy institute who i work with just reported you know the majority of people on this study group that gave recommendations to congress and the uh, president as mandated by congress the vast majority of these panelists have ties to the defense industry right so they come back with recommendations saying um, we can't leave precipitously. Um, we, we do want to leave, but we can't leave precipitously. And by the way, we think we should increase the number of people there or troops to 4,500 because that's the exact that's the exact number of troops we, we, we should have there to keep the peace while all these negotiations are going on. And I'm thinking 4,500 troops in the, a country as big as Afghanistan is like a drop in the bucket. It's not going to do anything. Um, but this is where the establishment is on on it and it it's just you know so we can't even get those 2500 out of there i mean i'm i'm glad we got down to 2500 but now it looks like it, it might go in the in the other direction we got to increase before we reduce yeah yep i feel like that's how we do budgeting in this town yeah. so 